Welcome back to the Lego Harry Potter Year Sponsor for 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. This part 44 and this part we're doing level 5 of year 2, Follow the Spiders. And we're going to play as Tom Riddle, of course. Playing as Tom Riddle once again, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys are annoyed <laughs> that I keep talking about that I always play as Tom Riddle. But I guess I just love talking about that. So here we are in uh, level 5 of year 2, follow the spiders, which is... Uh, no it's not. I, I almost said it's the last forbidden forest kind of level. But it isn't. There are some... Uh, there are three in your in, um, in Prince of Azkaban and there is actually one in Goblet of Fire actually. So no, it's not the last forest kind of level, but it kind of feels like it for me because I I just love the story when they go into the forest in Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. I just love it. Uh, but yeah, we are going to use this creature, whatever it is, so we can jump up and get all of these blue studs that you can see up there. And you, hopefully you saw that I got a purple stud in the corner which is out of the screen at the moment but I hope you saw that because you pretty much need to get that purple stud because if you don't get it it's going to be very hard for you guys to get a uh, true wizard in the level so I would recommend getting it but yeah uh, these are the two last purple, uh, blue studs and now we're just going to what is this a creature or an object I don't know uh, to get up here, but yeah, yeah, if you if you get uh, if you get all ten of these uh, mushroom pod things, looks like you will get something special. I think it's a house crest, but we will see when we actually get it. Now, I want to say that I'm quite sick. I've been uh, really sick with fever and stuff the whole weekend and that's why I've not been uploading. It's only been like four days or something like that. But uh, still, I just wanted to say that. I'm still a little bit sick. I'm not like fever. I don't have fever at the moment, but I'm a little bit... I got the cold and I'm a little bit like sore in my throat. You can probably hear that I'm talking like a boy that just... Uh, made it into puberty. That's what I sound like. So that's a little bit annoying, but that's just how it is. Um. So yeah, I'm not going to like. I'm probably not going to sound like myself in this part, but hopefully you guys will excuse that and look past it and just uh look at the video and enjoy that. Enjoy the video instead of listening to my voice which sounds horrible at the moment and also one more thing this is not really important for you guys but I just want to say it uh, uh, today tomorrow and the day after if I upload this video at the day I'm doing it which is the 10th of uh, June I am in the middle of an exam actually uh, so it might seem a little bit shocking that I'm actually recording a video But I'm in 10th grade at, I don't know, junior high or something I think that's what you call it Or a children's school or something um, So I have like a, a, an exam where I'm supposed to present a theme Or present, uh, present no, but like talk about uh, something for like 15 minutes or something uh, it's not worse than that so it's not really that hard but I've got it under control and I've got a little bit of time off at the moment I'm already like hugely into it and I've got loads of stuff uh, uh, put together and organized so I just felt like that I actually could comment record a video, or well, not really record a video, but do commentary for a video. So that's what I'm doing, and I actually, and I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that I'm alive, and I'm okay, and 
I haven't talked about I haven't talked about me being sick, but I just wanted to check back with you guys and stuff like that and just upload a video because we're nearly at the end of year two, just one more level to go. And then we're at year three. So I just wanted to do that and I hope you guys are very appreciative of that. Because I have an exam. So I'm going to work tonight and I'm going to work a lot, a lot tomorrow. And then I'm, I'm going to have the exam on Wednesday. It is one day today. So hopefully everything will be fine. I think it's going to be fine. I have like a uh, science and I'm going to talk about water. Like, uh, what is water? What does water uh, have? And yeah, and stuff like that. And all sorts of stuff about water. But if you go through those rings, that's the first time you've done something like that, you will get a uh, Raven Cora Seeds house quest. I think that's what it is. But yeah, that is a new thing. We will actually do it um, uh, like three times throughout the game. Two in free play mode and one in uh, exploring Hogwarts, I think it is. Uh, so yeah, we just use those frogs to go through those rings and we get special stuff. And it's quite fun actually. It's kind of... It, it, it isn't really a race, but it kind of is because you have like a timer on you for how fast you have to go through the rings. So it's kind of like a timer. But get out Tom Riddle again and use Crucio on that dark object and you will get Professor Sinistra. Which is another professor that you don't really see a lot in the movies or in this game for a matter of fact. I think you only see her once in the movies. And that's in Philosopher's Stone. You, you do like... I think, yeah. We do hear about her in the books of course. But she's not like hugely talked about, to be uh, honest. But she's still pretty cool. She's one of those professors. What does she? Sh what does she? Sh what? I can't talk today. What does she teach? In actually, I think she teaches in like uh, I don't know. Like I don't think it's astronomy. It might be like. Uh, non-magical studies or something or muggle studies I know some people like to say that instead of non-magical I think she teaches them that maybe or something that I don't really know maybe arithmetic or something so there we got one sweater which is nice uh, I think that's like the second out of three character stunts that we got so far I think so uh, yeah, the last one is down at Aragog's lair. And it won't be a problem getting it. It's very easy to get it. It's just a dark object once again. We have loads of dark objects, don't we? Yes, we do. It is quite typical that I actually got sick at this moment when I'm actually having a exam. exam. It's pretty typical. And so, out of those, you will get the Slytherin house crest, which is great. Yeah, it's typical that I got sick, but what can you do? Nothing. So you just have to make the best out of it. You get actually loads of stars from these if you just blow them up and destroy them. You will get quite a lot of studs, which is always a bonus. Always nice. So get rid of those uh, pixies like this, and the tree will slam the dirt. And we will go th uh, no, first we have to get out fangs so we can dig, or scabbers, no, not, not scabbers, but crookshanks. Either fangs or crookshanks. We use a lot of crookshanks, so I'm just using fangs, because we don't use it that much. Still, as I love fangs, and I love crookshanks. Actually, fangs, uh, what, I've said this before, but what is the name of the fangs race, like the dog race? Or the dog breed? It's one of my favourites. Uh, over there was Stone in Peril. So we got that now. Inside this chest is... A character stud, Lucius Malfoy. That is quite a huge character. Uh, Lucius Malfoy. So now we got him. Uh, so we did get the last 
uh, care to start in a dark object, but there is a dark object over here. I guess that's for a house crest then. Uh, let's go over and uh, open up the dark object. Let's see what's inside it. And we get hit by the maps. Yeah, open it up. Open it up. And what is it there? The Hufflepuff house crest. Great. So now we'll just uh, try to. Uh, not try, but we will defeat Aragog. You probably remember this. You can see it in the video. Just uh, shoot a spell at the uh, at the black spiders. Yes, we got him Leviosa to lift them up and then just spin them and hit them on Aragog. And that's pretty much it. Do that three times. And Hermione keeps getting trapped by the webs. She always does that though. But yeah, that's Aragog done. So now we'll go into this like car, motorcycle, race thing off the loading screen. Here we are. You have to go quite slow with this. You have to go really slow because there is like five things. Those, those uh, uh, cabins or houses or buildings that I just got. You have to get five of those and you will get the Gryffindor house first. And you have to go really, really slow to get them. So don't race through this like uh, I did in uh, the story mode. Just go really, really slow, but because you have to. And there we got True Wizard as well with 19,000 stuffs. And we're still getting more stuffs, which is great. So as I said, to go really, really slow. Because you don't want to miss these. You don't want to get go into the level again and go all the way up here and try to find it again. So that is the third of five of us buildings, yes. Uh two more to get. I think they're one I think one is pretty close and the last one is at the end, I think so. Oh they got one more alive. But whatever. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's actually loads more stuff. Uh, there's one car. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And we died. But I'm still going to get it. Drive into it, yes. And her mind is going really slow as well on the motorcycle. She's getting trapped in everything. Her mind on a motorcycle. It did. I didn't think I'd see the day. Uh, but yeah. There's more studs over there, but I seems that I can't get those studs. I'm not going to try. Uh, let's see, where is the last one? You have to get it. The last house building. I know that down here. There it is. There's the fifth one, and we get the Gryffindor house crest over here. Uh, are loads of studs that make an X. Uh, yes. That is everything for this level, so we're just going to race, uh, race through it to the end. Oh, her mind is going much faster than us. That's not good. She's beating us. She's beating us. I'm sad. Her mind is beating us. A race. But yeah, I'm very close to the end of this now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's the end of this level. So we got Professor Sinistra, Ron Sweater, which I actually didn't see we got, and Lucius Malfoy. We got all four of the house class, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff, and a gold brick for that. Uh, we got True Wizard, 100% did True Wizard, yay! And uh, we've also got 120,000 studs, which is amazing. Really great. Going to use those by characters, but I don't think we're, we're not going to buy characters right now, but maybe in the next part or something? We'll see. Student apparel we got. And we got three gold bricks for that. I'll see you in the next part for the last level here too. See you then.